Well, a new council was just created to protect construction workers rebuilding the Twin Cities. It's called the Building Dignity and Respect Standards Council, and it was introduced by local leaders today. Christian Cordero is tracking this for us live from South Minneapolis to explain kind of how this will work, Christian. Well, Aaron, there's a whole lot of rebuilding happening here in the Lake and Minnehaha area of South Minneapolis. We were standing right here when this uh, former apartment complex that was under construction was on fire. There were dozens of buildings within just a couple of blocks of us that were either on fire and or uh, broken into. So now as we talk about and start to see some of these rebuilding efforts, really what this council is about is trying to make sure that everything that gets rebuilt gets rebuilt fairly. In the construction industry, you have you union workers and you have non-union workers, right? This council, which is called the BDC, cited complaints from non-union workers about wage theft, child uh, labor violations, unsafe working conditions, even racist threats. Some of these allegations are already illegal, but it's just not easy to enforce without a union or if the person alleging it is, for example, an undocumented immigrant. The BDC is designed to enforce and inform workers and companies of the standards. Today, when the BDC was officially in introduced, both Twin Cities mayor and the attorney general shared why it matters to them now. Often in our progressive spaces, uh, we talk about equity, but we don't really know what it is. Our entire city has been built by an extraordinary labor force. And at times that those workers, that labor force has been taken advantage of in major ways. It is part of the road to a fair economy. And it's one of those essential building blocks that we got to have everywhere in this country, but let's start here. So we didn't name any of the companies that have specific allegations against them simply because we haven't had time yet to get their side of things. But one reason why somebody might perhaps feel implored to pay less than minimum wage for their work is because they can't afford it. With minimum wage going up in Minneapolis and St. Paul to $15 an hour incrementally, uh, that is something that these companies will have to address if, in fact, these laws are enforced more strictly. Erin? Okay. Thank you so much, Christian, for that update.